This video is on a chapter of vectors in vector spaces and we are doing some uh, revisions for the summation symbol. Okay, let us say now that we have a summation from k beginning in 1 till 3 of x index k, x k. So this will be x1, right, because we begin in 1, plus x2 plus x3 okay so uh, be very careful where k varies okay and where k um, stands here in the, the the sequence that you have here okay what about if we have the summation from i equals 1 to n of a i b i. So this will be a1 b1 plus now i is 2 so a2 b2 plus it will go on a3 b3 till n where we will, we will reach a n b n and then we stop. Okay? Okay, what about the summation from i beginning in 0 till n? And here in this example, maybe for the first time in this couple of videos, you're going to see how useful the summation symbol is. So here we have i is 0, so this will be a 0, right? x to the power of 0, so x to the power of 0 but x to the power of 0 is 1, so a0 times 1, plus summation, so a1 x, x to the power of 1, of course, plus a2 x squared, and it will go on till a n x n, okay? So you see this is very handy, you can rewrite polynomials in this way. Okay, another very handy example. Summation from k equals 1 to p of a i k b k j. Okay, so the variation is from k equals 1 to p. So this i here will stay as it is okay and this j here will stay as it is too so what we have is a i and k starts in 1 a i 1 b k starts in 1 1 g okay second term a i 2 right b b 2 j plus a i 3 b 3 j right and all this will end in a i it will finish in p p b p j